Arts 149 and 139 students. This is Professor Chow. I'm going to go through a exercise in showing you the perfect submission example so that you have an idea of what we're expecting when we receive your programming submissions. So I've got these three files here, fibdriver.java, fib.java, and fibtest.java. I've downloaded those. I've loaded them into JGrasp. So I'm going to go ahead and load these two and then show you how to connect in JGrasp the third test file. So this file here, do not edit this one, it's the fib driver. It will do some reading in from the command line for an argument and grab that argument number and take the Fibonacci number and the Fibonacci, print out the Fibonacci sequence for that up to that number. So don't edit this file. It has everything in it just correctly for check style. As I run check style, I get audit done and have no errors. So this is a well specified file. It's got the proper tab indentation and everything else in it. So we go over here and I'm going to write my Fibonacci method. It's just a simple recursive method here. I'll finish that out and I've got to make sure I run my check style on that. I'm going to have several errors here. This first one is the file does not end with a new line, and so I need to just make sure I come down to the last line, hit enter, and that should take care of that one. So I'll fire that up here, and let's do the check again. And in fact, yes, now we have a pass on that. So the next thing to take care of is this missing a Java doc comment on line one. So we're going to write a Java doc comment for this class fib, finds the Fibonacci number for a given int input. Right. Author is my name. And I'm going to version, put a date. And here I'll also give an acknowledgement statement. That's the Java doc for my right here. Then I need on line five. I don't have a Java doc written for my next piece here, so I'm going to have to write this. Give a return in here, double for the value of fib number. All right, closing that out. Now I can save it. I'll run this. We'll get the unused parameter tag here. I need to fix this. Oh, it's the int n, it's the actual parameter. So I need to go there. That gets rid of that. So now in here, it says this must be used with a begin end. So let's format this in a proper way. And then we'll get this in a better way here. All right. Getting all these errors fixed. So this wants the else to be on the same line as the end. Fire. Go back on line 18. We've got a little bit of spacing issues in our subtraction here, and also in this subtraction here. Let's fix those. 
else is not preceded with white space, so we need to get that fixed. And now we have a finalized file that passes check style. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file. Now we can finish out our tests. So let's go ahead and click on the edit J unit test file. This will hook up our fib test.java that we created into that directory into J unit. We get this rainbow runner man here. Now we can run this and see if our test is passing. This test passed, but I know that there are other tests that we need to write. We need to write a test for the case of zero. So we'll write that in here. Write a test case for zero. Write some other test cases here that will also test our method and exercise it fully. line things up, make them look nice, and we'll save this. We're going to run our test again, and it looks like we have passed our test case here, so that's good. Now there's one final piece which we need to add this test case that we talked about several times. We need a test case for the class, so we're going to do a public static Test fib, and we go new fib, and that will actually run the test case for our test class. This is an important one that we need to do for uh, Webcat to be satisfied and get rid of the coverage. Often if we don't do that, then the name of our class here, this line, will get highlighted in red in the WebCat. So we're going to put that piece into there. And then now let's run check style on our test cases here. We've got several different things missing here. We've got no uh, missing Java doc comment, so let's put that in. Have our author. Version, our acknowledgments, all right, and we'll create one of our Java doc for our test cases. Final one here. All right. Let's see where we're at. All right, so we're on line ten. We need a space before the piece there. Again, line 38. Our first sentence should end with a period. We'll make those always the case there. We'll do that same thing down at the second Java doc. We need a comma after some of these, so we are on line 23. Five here, it doesn't like that. So we can add a space in there. All right, that should be happy. We'll save it. We're going to run it. And we're going to get a level three indentation issue. So we need to make sure this is at level four. So we'll tab that out, and save it, and retest it. Everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and run. And we'll do 
compile this. Okay. Static void there. Okay, everything's good. And now we've got our two test cases passing. So everything is good. Let us know if you have any questions.